Have you ever wanted the perfect location where you can walk to the beach, walk to coffee shops and restaurants and have an awesome Airbnb? Well, this is it. Guys, I've been staying here myself for like a week, enjoying my time. I've been in St. Augustine for like three weeks now. I love this place. And I think you're really gonna love this Airbnb. I'm gonna show you a map of St. Augustine right now. I think in these zones is the ultimate Airbnb spot. So if you're gonna book one here and come visit, stay in these zones because you're close to the beach or you're in downtown. Anyway, I'm gonna to be touring this one behind me. We are on Butler Beach and you can walk really anywhere. It's awesome. You pull up, the driveway is beautiful stone everywhere. The landscaping is absolutely top notch here compared to all the other homes here. This place is just beautiful. Huge garage right here you can park your car in, small patio in the front, wooden front door. We'll walk inside and take a tour. There's three bedrooms and two and a half baths here. Let's check it out. Walking inside, this is your open living space and 10 foot ceilings with wood beams above. It is very spacious in here. This first section is the living room. You got two pretty large couches facing each other. Since there are three bedrooms, uh, you can have a lot of guests here. So a lot of seating area with a huge TV on this wall. Really open is nice, I like it. And then we continue along, we have your wood dining table here. Perfect for games. We were just at an Airbnb and they didn't have a dining table, so we couldn't really playing a game. So I like having this dining table right here. Really cool chandelier above. Kitchen is next, really large kitchen with a huge countertop right here. This is a waterfall countertop. Sink right here in the middle. Cabinets everywhere. This is a chef's kitchen for sure. They leave everything you possibly could use. Oven, beautiful wood detail above all of this. Over here we have the microwave, a full size pantry right in here. It has a bunch of coffee stuff and everything. And of course, your refrigerator over here. This sliding door leads out to the back patio, which is gorgeous. We'll get to that last. We'll walk back over here though. And then on this wall, this is where you access your garage. And here is the one car garage. This door right here leads to a small uh, half bath. Perfect for everybody on this main floor. Down this hallway, we have a washer and dryer in this room. And then the main bedroom right through here. This is the main bedroom, king size bed right here in the middle. There's plenty of space on both sides for your nightstands. There's a huge mirror right here in front of me to get ready at, which is really nice. Massive walk-in closet right in front of me as well. And then there's an attached bath right over here to the left. Dual vanities and a walk-in tiled shower. This is the perfect bedroom. But there's one, there's two more upstairs actually, uh, and we'll head to the stairs. Walking up these steps, there is a living room right here to hang out at. This couch is really comfortable actually. Very deep, we got a TV and some games right there in front of me. Surfboard coffee table right here in front of me, which is really cool. There are the two bedrooms up here. The bathroom is also up here. Right here is the bathroom. Really simple with your vanity toilet, bathtub, and then your shower. The door behind me is where Weston is sleeping at actually. There are two bunk beds in here so we can sleep. A lot of people in this bedroom, this area is perfect for kids. And, last and I'll have to say, I was up with Weston through the night sleeping in one of those little bunk beds. Very, very comfortable, surprisingly. One benefit of staying up with Weston through the night. <laughs> This is the last bedroom, full-size bed in here, all matching furniture, which is really nice. This is one of the brighter bedrooms. You get the huge window here. We're clearly up in the loft, but there is plenty of space. And there's also a closet to store all your stuff right here in front of me. And that is this Airbnb. And the best part though is outside. This outdoor space off of the kitchen is my favorite. The landscaping is just Perfect, it's all fenced in, feels really private and high quality. The stone on the ground leads all the way up to the stone flower bed over here, which is a nice detail. And that's all right in front of the seating area. Two couches facing each other. You can sit out here in the sun or in the nighttime and enjoy your time. The decor is nice as well. There's a grill, a swinging chair over here. The ring toss game, can't go wrong with that. A huge hot tub over here on the right. This is just beautiful. You can't go wrong with the hot tub, especially when you got the ocean. Just hop back in here and uh, get all nice and cozy. Dining table over here with an outdoor shower as well. And then some grass and palm trees on this left side to complete the outdoor space. This just has to be one of the most perfect outdoor spaces there are. And we're one block from the ocean. You can walk from here. You can get an electric bike 
uh, and ride around. If you have one and you're visiting St. Augustine, you've got to bring your electric bike. It is the perfect place for it. The link to book this place is down in the description below. See you next week.